Heartbreak in a Shelton neighborhood tonight after a two year old boy drowned in a swimming pool. A relative was babysitting when it happened. News 8's Amy Hudak talked to police and has the latest on that investigation. Amy. Tonight, police are calling this a terribly tragic accident. They say that little boy wandered outside of the home, and by the time the relative found him, it was simply too late. It was a heart wrenching day for a Shelton family a two year old boy drowning in a relative's pool. Police saying that relative, whose relationship to the child is still not known, was babysitting at their home on Copper Penny Drive when the toddler wandered outside. Shelton police calling this a horrific accident. It was determined that uh, after investigation that the baby fell in the pool. Um, just a complete, horrible, all around incident. A 911 call made from the home around 11 Monday morning. EMTs rushing the child to St. Vincent's Hospital, but he didn't survive. Shelton police saying vigilance with children is key around the water. In a split second, everything can change. Anytime there's small kids in pools, you know, we, we got to make sure, you know, we're, we're watching out for them. They can't, um, you know, they don't understand what the, what the whole seriousness behind, you know, they don't comprehend it. Make sure we're locking doors and, you know, if we have an opportunity to put fences up around uh, the inner perimeters of pools as well, that's, you know, something we should do. Police saying the in-ground pool was fenced in as required by law. It's not clear if any of the doors in the home had alarms. Our hearts go out to the family as well as, you know, the community. And, you know, you don't ever hear about stuff like this, but, you know, stuff that, uh, you know, can't happen. Police are also saying tonight it's likely no criminal charges will be filed. Live in the control room, Amy Hudak, News 8.